What's up guys? No car stuff today. What you're going to get is uh, Isaac's Kitchen. So today, I'll go ahead and tell you what happened. I have no Model A parts. I'm waiting on Model A parts. Uh, the rug mower can wait. I have a party I have to be at tomorrow and they wanted me to make my they want my potato salad my potato salad recipe was handed down to me uh, by an elderly lady I used to take care of what you need to make this potato salad is you need three good size baking potatoes and I bought a bag of them and they're kind of medium size so I'm gonna have four, five. They're kind of puny. So normally it would be three good size baking potatoes. These are kind of small so I'm going to do five. And what you have to do, clean them, peel them, Now, I'm just letting y'all know this is some really good potato salad. I don't know where she got the recipe from. This is the best potato salad. And y'all can argue with me on that. It's fine. Y'all gonna be hating on me for doing a uh, cooking show. <laughs> but it's gonna be fine. Uh, this is something I've got to do for the party. And I've got to have a video out for Thursday. Hopefully something good is going to come out of this. Y'all are going to learn how to make potato salad. I would like it if y'all were to try making this recipe and let me know how it turned out. Next thing to do is chop them up into tiny squares. Basically, this is what we're going to get, guys. Y'all can get an idea of that. This is what we're going to, this is what you need. Guys, there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fill up this pan with some water. Okay. You fill it up with water about even with the chunks of the, uh, the potato. And you let her cook. For about 10 minutes at a boil. You want about a teaspoon of salt to put in the pan. You fill up a cup, one full cup, of finely chopped Velastic Sweet Midgets. And you do all this while the uh, potatoes are cooking for 10 minutes out of oil. This is good. I like cooking. One cup, full. Cool. 
So good. Got to try them out. Mmm, that's good. Gonna stir these up a little bit. Alright guys, so the next thing you need is a bundle of celery. I'm going to rinse it off with cold water. And I'm going to start ripping off some of these be enough and I'm going to cut the ends off of these off of the cell off of the celery that's what we're going to wind up with all right this is pretty good that should be just fine A nice little strainer right here. We're going to strain these potatoes in the sink. What I like to do with this celery is I like to go down the celery And I like to cut it into like four pieces. And you chop these up fine. Just like this. Alright guys, I'm going to just go ahead and add the uh, sweet midgets to the potatoes. <clears throat> now I'm going to add the celery. And you need two and a quarter to two and a half cups of chopped celery and white onion together. That's one cup of celery, a, a half of a medium sized onion, white onion, and then I'll add it to this. I am boiling a little bit more potatoes because I didn't think I had enough. So I'm peeling the skin off the onion, and I'm going to cut this bad boy in half. Well, first, you want to cut these this onion into fine pieces. So here's the bits of onion. I'm gonna put it in here. The final thing, guys, is you need a 30 ounce container of the Hellman's Real Mayonnaise. You're only gonna use half of this in the potato salad and mix it up real good with your hands. Very messy. Kind of fun. Got a nice spoon here. I'm going to just add, I'm going to go ahead and add the half of the mayonnaise into this pan. Yep, that's half. 
Now, I know I said to add in thirds, but it'll be fine. The pan's big enough. And you mix all of this up, guys, just like this. Mix it up thoroughly. Which it looks like it is now. Now I, I am going to be adding a little bit more potato. Which is going to fill it up even more. That looks so good. There it is, guys. That's some good potato salad. There's one last thing that you might want to do. Mmm, that's some good potato salad. One last ingredient that you don't add until you're ready to serve it. It gives it a little bit extra taste and it gives it a little bit extra color. Paprika. You don't want to add it until you're ready to serve it. I'm, I'm, so I'm just showing you a little spot here. It adds some nice color to it. If you add it now and then wait until tomorrow, when that's when I'm serving it, it's tomorrow, it'll kind of turn the top of the potato salad red. So you only want to add this right before you serve it. So this is my potato salad recipe, guys. Let me know what y'all think of it. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all later. Man, some good potato salad.